express inverse, I should say. Um, and so I thought what is we would do is we just have a conversation about. Um, um, okay. Well, we have, I'm sure we each have a number of questions, but probably last about half an hour, maybe a little less, depends on. Um, <coughs> just hours. Um, on, 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 on how many questions we still have. So that's um, okay to you. Okay. So do you want to um, maybe start by saying what, what, uh, why you're interested in the position? Uh, and then we can get them from there. Well, I'm sure it's my goals. I don't know how many questions, but I've been coming to meetings for the last couple of years trying to make myself informed. And I would like to, I've watched the process and then learned a lot about it, and i like to give it a shot to see what it's like, um, and to see if I could help um, facilitate the things going on in town, and maybe help create a future plan um, for where we'd like to see the town go. And I've had a little bit of experience with a couple of committees and boards I've been on in the last couple of years. And my other thing is for coming forward and being on the board is I am very vocal on a lot of the meetings that public input is allowed. And I figure maybe I'm sitting on this board, I can get a clear understanding of what goes on behind the scenes and what is going on before I get to these meetings and become so vocal people start drowning me out and <laughs> leave part way through because they're sick of hearing me talk. <laughs> Do you want to have some questions you want to start? Or? You can start. Okay, so, so, you, so you've been coming to meetings for, for, for a while now. Um, what do you see as, as something of a priority for you uh, that may need to be done around town, um, it may need to be, it could be part of the budgeting process, anything, what, what do you see as a priority for, for this board? There are a couple of them. Okay. I think, um, like, some of the things that you've already started working on that um, I'd like to see a vision for the Salem Falls District that was brought up. Um, I'd like to see... Um, I don't know if it falls within this board or if it falls within the planning board. I'd like to see um, a revision done to the 10-year plan in a couple of areas, like the rec that doesn't um, include anything for seniors, uh, anybody over the age of like 18. Um, and I'd like to continue to see the town progress so that we have an efficient police department where they're housed it's safely. I don't want to keep the police department where they are and have potential hazards to the health of our officers downstairs. I'd like to see the historical character of the town come through a little bit more. It hasn't been there um, in the last few years we've been trying, but there's not a lot of connection to that. And I'd like to see um, the board try and create um, a sense of community. It's like, our lives are so busy right now, we've lost, and I know we used to talk about this before, um, the face-to-face -face um, contact. Like, if we put a box outside, that's a convenience measure, but then we lose talking to our neighbors. And I don't feel like there's a big sense of community amongst the larger population of this world. Of the town, I should say. So, what, and I'm realizing this now that I'm on the board, there is a lot of evening hours, uh, meetings, different boards that we have, to, we have to serve on. What is your availability to attend night meetings, sometimes two or three times a week, depending on what board you serve? What is your availability to do that? My availability right now, because I'm a stay-at-home parent, mm -hmm. is a lot more in the evening than during the day, because I have a child that I care for 
all the other ones in school. Um, but I do have a couple of other, so my partner is at home as a resource in the evenings. I also have a couple of good friends who are there to help support me in the evenings if he cannot be there um, in the area to help watch my kids and stuff like that. So the evenings actually work better for me because I can sneak away a lot easier. And in losing Suzanne, we have also lost a great resource for the day as well. So, um, and you're saying your limitation is mostly during the days as well. Well, I right now I have my child home with me, and we do activities during the days. However, um, if I needed to. I could, um, I've looked into daycares in the past and know that they are like two days a week minimums. And Mondays and Fridays are the days that we don't usually get activities. So if we need be, I could sign him up for child care during those days. And at least one of my friends who is um, available as child care is a retiree. So I can go there drop him off, come back for a meeting. I'm certainly not telling you not to spend money to have daycare to do work at the town hall. I'm not, I'm not implying that at all. It's just that, you know, and I believe the other candidate is a full-time player you too. So it, 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 it's hard when you had someone who was retired who was able to be, but then again, that person was also worn out because of all the stuff that she had to do. And I, and I get that too. You know, and my schedule, I try to keep Mondays and Fridays open mm -hmm. so that I know, like, those are the things that I do, days that I focus on the things that I need to do. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to go a long weekend, I know I can come back late Sunday night and sleep in Monday morning. Or um, if, like, one of the committees I'm on needs notes done or minutes done, I'll slate those for Mondays and Fridays, knowing that... Um, my younger one can be home playing in the same room as I am while I'm typing or whatever. But if, if we needed someone to, to run over and sign something at town hall, it, it, you could come, you could bring your child. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. that's not an issue. And that happens quite frequently, actually. Mm -hmm. One of us will need to run over to sign yes, something. Yeah. I mean, and I'm a two minute drive mm -hmm. over, a five minute walk, mm -hmm. and my son um, has been is used to coming in with me now since I was on the committee and working, um, like sitting down and playing um, at the table out by the desk and stuff. Sometimes I do have to remind him, like, he's crying, especially when they're on the phone. He can't be yelling at me. Kids are kids. So how familiar are you, Celia, with the, with the, um, with the time commitment? I mean, I know you see us at on Monday nights, and we're here sometimes later than other nights. Um, but each of us are, this is so you understand. I mean, this is not questioning whether or not you have the time to do it or not. It's just, I want to make sure you understand. We have, um, there are frequently day meetings at certain committees we serve on. Like, I, I do the, the Landford Regional, uh, now with Garvey. Um, they only meet during the day. So uh, take time off and, and go to those meetings. They haven't happened recently, but uh, the Stratford Regional Planning Commission uh, sit on um, only meets in the morning on Fridays. Uh, let's see what else. Well, you know about the historic committee because you, you're also on the uh, planning board at night. <coughs> so Denise is on the rec committee, which you are also on, and that's Sunday, isn't it? Or, well, it's no, moved so around now, now, but, we moved but it, I mean, yeah, so, so, we so there's another night. Attended, yeah. So Zoning. we have zoning. Well, no, we don't use the word. Oh, we don't know. Everyone's doing great while we have to do um, it. Trying to think of all the other things we do. Um, well, right just other committees that come together, right. too, like Space Needs, the police station, that was right. one of those that so, we've done. And, and as you know, the, the, the staff, um, the staffing around town hall is limited. We don't have as, as much staff as other communities may, may have, so the select board takes on those responsibilities. Um, I 
right, so I'm going to say this to both candidates before I make sure they understand. I, Completely, it's not just Monday evening. There's a lot of during the day and the rest of the week. I mean, this week I'm out, uh, well, last night was school, too, but um, uh, every night this week, actually. So, doing something. Um, that is one of the things that I have thought about, too. Yeah. And I have um, I had to think long and hard about whether I wanted to continue on this path because mm -hmm. I did second guess myself a couple of times about the time commitment mm -hmm. but I think there's a lot I could offer and since if this is a short term thing it would help me until March or January it would be when you have to make a decision if you were going to want right. for the position open in March right. so it would give me an opportunity to serve on this board and to see if the time commitment is something that I could do at this time in the future for a long term or not. And there's certainly no requirement that you would need to, to run in, 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 in January or March. Um, I think it probably could if whoever was filling wanted to go forward um, so there's not another break, you know, so that would be up to the voters, of course, but if, if um, they decided that you were the one Whoever else is going to fill this position would just stay on it. People would like it for continuity, so just something to keep in mind. And they may reject you, and that happens too. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't be reelected, but it, it's, it's something to keep in mind that, that I think folks like to um, to know that at least for uh, two terms, people are going to stick around and, and try to do that. You know, what they can. So. And this position is Suzanne's position in March, right? So that would be a three year, not yeah. another. Correct. And Right now, for the past, I'd say, two years or so, my life has been regimented to a certain degree by my children's activities and their after-school events uh, or whatever um, that they do. So, um, right now, I think on one or two nights a week, I have something scheduled from, like, quarter of five to like six, but my husband is also aware of these commitments and is available to take our children to them if they need to. I mean, that, that's, um, I, 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 don't, I don't want to mislead you to think that, that we ask these questions because we don't believe you have the time. I, we're just telling you this is what it takes, this is what the commitment is. I, I don't want it to seem like, oh, because you're a parent, we don't think you have the time. I, I don't want to close it. I'm sitting here. I don't think that's fair. So, um, just want to make sure that you understand that there's a lot to be asked of. You, that's all. I mean, and there's a lot that, personally, and this is why I've been second guessing whether or not I move forward in my own mind is the sacrifice it would, or the time sacrifice, I guess, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the time invested. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 there's also lots of surprises that come up that you didn't know about because I, mean, I just found out that I have to be at all elections, which I was not aware, you know. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things that I thought about. Saw them there, but I thought it was the kindness of their heart. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, those are the kind of things that you have to think about as well. Um, so, I don't know how I'm going to work that out, and I don't know if I can, but we'll work on that. <laughs> so... It is what it is. And this one, anyway. This one, coming up. But those are the kind of things, the little hidden things that you didn't know that you were responsible for doing. And unfortunately, I mean, one of the things that I think that the Board of Selectmen need to do in the very near future is writing, you know, rules and procedures and, and responsibilities for the Board of Selectmen so people know when they step up and run for a position to know exactly what it's going to entail. And I would, I would like to see that come forward. Add it to the list. Of Add it to the to list. To work on. You know, I know it's just one of those Fair things enough. that just gets put, you know, it would be helpful out. for everyone. It would be helpful. So, yeah. do you have any questions for us? Um, no, but along those lines that Denise was just saying, it's like, I, I know you have a long list of things to do <laughs> that don't always seem to jive. I want to follow up on your question. One of the other things I'd like to see is like um, clarification on those vague areas in some of the town policies. 
I know that the trade for station stickers were um, that whole policy was rewritten because I brought up a question last year mm -hmm. when my husband and I both totaled our vehicles. Mm -hmm. Do we have to buy another one or can we just get it replaced free of charge? Mm -hmm. So things like that that we don't even realize are vague. Mm -hmm. Somebody had a thought of asking the question, right. I guess. You know? Yeah. yeah. So I think like my inquisitivity or my logic <coughs> thinking sometimes brings forth some of these gaps that we leave open. Yeah, there, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that definitely needs clarification for sure. It's just the time to do it. So my I do have a question that slipped my yeah. mind for a moment. The stormwater regional planning thing. Yeah. And another group of your I haven't told you all of them. There's, there's lots of things. Those so, groups that we have to sit on. And some of them, some of the groups, like the stormwater or the roads, are they attended to by town employees, or is that still a town uh, select, select board, board position? Uh, the select board has been filling them. And the uh, so sort of like the, the road maintenance would be a, a, a partnership between the road agent and the, and the select board member. They've been managing that up to this point. Um, the um, stormwater committee was being managed by a member of the select board, a chair of the select board, um, and a volunteer committee, uh, and with a staff member helping out to, to fill out all the paperwork. Um, but still, it's driven by by the board. So. And so there, one of my other questions is. Sure about the town report until we go through all the list of the different committees and things. That we, and then there's sort of ad hoc groups. That we Space needs. Yeah. Um, the I was thinking about the cemetery trustees and the conservation commission. The, those work independently of this board. Part of that. I mean, I think if they needed something, they would come to us. Fiduciary responsibility yeah. for certain things falls under the select board. But yeah. They're elected. They're elected. Well, the, the, the conservation commission is appointed, but uh, the cemetery trustees are elected. Now, do you see a lot more? of a time commitment occurring in the, this fall and winter months with the change in the way we do town Well, budget is always... Yeah, it's, 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 it's yeah. just because, of, it, one, it's just budget season, so Which is um, a huge commitment. it will be very, very, uh, I'm very, I'm putting that sentence, very busy up until town meeting. Um, with the change in... Um, how we, we bring things to the voters um, through the SP2 system is more front -loaded. So, uh, so there's uh, more of a time commitment there. We, we have deadlines are earlier. So, we have the same level of, um, a few extra steps, but for the most part, the same level of work is just when it's performed. So. And have to be done, you know, all the regulations of getting it done. So it would be a very, um, it's going to be, regardless of who's sitting there, it's going to be a very busy um, fall. So I'll do, we're not trying to tell you this, it's just, I have to run away. It's just, I think it's, it's not fair to, to um, sugarcoat. So <laughs> try to lull people in to think that oh certainly send us a letter so we can trick you into to wanting to, to do this, right? I mean it's wanna be up front with it. So. Yeah. And the time commitment is something that is on the wrong. It's there. That's not something, gonna change, so. something to consider. Not in the short term anymore. I mean, also, but also we have to remember that we're not creating a whole new budget from scratch. I mean, we're we're going to have to go through the budgets and increase or decrease as things are based on last year's stuff. But you know, the department heads do their own presentation to us. Then we modify or don't modify as we feel it's necessary. So it's not as much of it as creating a budget as it is to figure out how we're going to for all the budgets and that kind of stuff. I mean, that's 
that's time consuming. I mean, we have our own budget we have to, there's a few sections on our own that we have to do, but most of it is done by your, your, your support team, police, fire, highway, you know, and present it to us, and then we present it to the budget committee. So the um, budget that is overseen by the select board, mm -hmm. the chair, or the department heads bring it to you, and then do they take it to the budget committee after you've looked at it, or is it included in your budget? It's a, it's a selectman's budget, however, every department head attends their allotted time to campaign for what they want, and you know, but it, it actually is a selectman's budget. Most of the and, time and they, they align, but sometimes, yeah. once in a great while, they won't. Well, we, yeah, we might decide that they only need four radios versus six of their, you know, but they're always, always able to talk at the budget meetings and plead their cases, so to say, if they had to. I mean, but the one who, uh, they don't vote, the only select board votes on the budget committee. They're just able to come and present or be part of the presentation. So if they present to the select board, mm -hmm. it's not required that the select Mem select board members go to the budget committee meeting. It's uh, beneficial, but not well, required. Well, no, there's a member of the select board, which would be myself. The ex I'm the ex officio now on the budget committee, so I would be presenting the select board's budget, which would contain, contain all department heads' budgets. Okay. So, but they, but that's a, you know, that's a, the whole picture. But the fire has a night, the police have a night, but I would be there as well as them. Yeah, I've been and there. there you know, they need to answer questions that I may not know the answer to, so it's good that they're there to defend whatever they want. I've been there when the rec design has presented in the mm -hmm. past, mm -hmm. um, but I just didn't know as a select board member they're required to go to the budget committee. Well, I don't go to not the, entire the ex officio member goes, but the they don't all go to the planning board. Right. There's you no know, point of having one person. So it would just be the person who is be appointed to that. You can. Yeah, you're yeah, but you can't you can't sit at the table as as a select board that's not the ex officio and react and go out and all those things. Like it's only one person can do that. Yeah. My other question is is that I know from outside of this setting. I have come into contact with both of you. If I were to sit on this board, would that be considered a meeting? Because two thirds of the select board is at a specific place, and, or is it only if you're discussing town business? I find this real nuisance, to be honest with you. If you're going to a, a after hours, I don't know how that can be constituted if we're both there. I, I don't get that part of it myself, to be honest with you. I mean, you can't make decisions and right. vote on things right. and all of that stuff, that makes sense, but the be a party or The whatever. Municipal Association holds a DEXA training for, for, for select board members. It's usually after the, the March elections, but um, part of that training is discussing just that. Um, <laughs> there are times when there are husbands and wives are elected and they drive over together. Now they're not supposed to be talking about town business. Suggest that they are, but could happen. Um, but what else they end up doing? I can take a different cut. They could, I guess. Um, I've gone to the fire department breakfast. Um, I'm not going to stop with them. Um, and I have seen Denise there. I've seen Suzanne there. Yeah. Sometimes we've sat at the same table, sometimes we haven't. Um, I go to the Legion breakfast on Sunday, third Sunday of the month. I'm not going to stop going if Denise starts to go there. I mean, so <laughs> we can be in the same room. I mean, I, I, I think you need to err on the side of caution. You certainly don't want to be, you know, driving around town hanging out with, with, like that. But, uh, you know, there are certain social occasions and they be a certain thing. I mean, I'm not going to stop going to open house because our, our children are the same age, you know, and at school, I mean, so... Yeah. It's just common sense, I think. I think, you, you know, you should be able to live your life, but
But if you're at a, if you're at a function to, and you're both there, just don't discuss business. And right. that's that's the whole thing. It would be improper for me to call Denise and, and say, or whoever, Suzanne, I'll say Suzanne, she's not here right now, she should be fine. It would be improper for me to call her and discuss how we, we will or will not vote on, on any issue that would come before the board. Um, yeah, is it not improper for me to call her and say, hey, I'm not going to come tonight, I've, I've got the flu or something, and you can do that, obviously, but it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be discussing town business uh, like that. It should just be, be within, everything that's supposed to be done publicly at a board meeting. That's why you're sitting here in front of the public. We're having this conversation, so. That's how it's supposed to be. Yes. Okay. I just you don't have to stop living your life. Yes. I, I'm not yes. going to stop going to social things. I'm going to go to, you know, called old home day, uh, family fun day. Um, and my daughter is still going to play with Denise's granddaughter. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. So, and our children will still play with her. So yeah. I wouldn't worry about that. I just want to put back. Questions or concerns? Or? I don't, we're not going to make a decision tonight, so if you have anything, uh, we'll probably do it, I would think, probably in the next um, Monday, I think. But, um, um, so let us know if you have an email or whatever. Yeah, think of anything over the weekend. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for considering it. Yeah, and so we appreciate you bringing your name. Certainly let you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, yeah. Go into that then. Now. Yeah, I was going to say, being, um, I need to have Mike clarify. You're the chairman of the planning board right, right. now. If you would become a selectman, you would have to give up the chairmanship, correct? Correct. Ex officio members are allowed to be chair. Be a chair. Yeah. You know, if you know that. Uh, yeah. And can he serve on the planning board as well? You sure can. He could be the ex officio <laughs> member. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Is that, okay. Is that my out? Is that right? Okay, I didn't know how that was going to work. Uh, but so, it, it would either, I would either stay on or whoever. I mean, it doesn't. You two, both of you can stay correct. on. Correct. Okay, you, you, you so that would be something that you would have to think about. But yeah. do you just, I know you can't chair any um, committee that is an elected committee, right? You know, like budget planning, any uh, zoning, any of those. Like zones. Right. Zoning pointed, pointed. Right, but I know I knew that you couldn't do that, so I just want to make sure okay. you knew that as well. Um, so knowing that you have been active and we served on a couple of committees mm -hmm. as well, um, your time allotment, um, you can take, sometimes we're out two, three, four nights a week. We try not to do Fridays, thank goodness. Yes. Um, and budget planning is going to cause a lot of meetings yep. um, coming the fall and winter. Um, preparing our budget as well as preparing department heads' budgets, and you have the time right. to do that as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you both know I, I have a full time job. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, we all do. Uh, yeah, um, that's demanding, but I, I, I think I can balance um, the duties of this position as well. Okay. Do you would you have any availability during the day if we needed to call? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's uh, things come up every once in a while. So. Yeah, I know this is being recorded, but um, yeah, there's flexibility during my during my work day if I need to break away from. Uh, yeah, something like a signature needed to be done right oh, away, sure. or I, something I like that. that. I do that now. A um, distance. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that's available. Um, every once in a while, we'll have um, we have to meet with legal counsel. And that typically it doesn't have to, but typically it would happen like eight in the morning, like eight in the morning oh, okay. before work hours. So I try to well, at least do it to accommodate my schedule, to be honest. So, um, and Jody, um, um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's not an issue. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think I've that before. Yeah. Um, so, um, just you, so you understand that, the, that there are, it wouldn't just be Monday nights. I just want to make sure we're clear about that. Yeah. It's also, it's, Depending so, on whatever so what are committees you may be, well, so if you wanted to do planning board, mm -hmm. for instance, and, and I wanted to give it up, um, we'd have to probably wear a muscle. Sure, that's right. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we just need some. So that's obviously the first Tuesday of the month. So I mean, things like that do come yeah. up. Did um, so uh, you pick the committees you wanted to be on, or is there at the program? beginning of the year we we did? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, and they're like. I'm going to be the ex officio right now for budget. For budget. Um, and then Mike is right now for planning. Mm -hmm. What are the other ones? I That's do, I do uh, start the Regional Planning Commission yeah. and the Lamprey Regional for Garbage. Um, um, historical Committee. Uh, I did the space there. needs for the police. Okay. Um, I also, there was, um, I don't know what was that on um, the, no, Rack. I did Rack as well. And then I did, I do the one on a, Morning. Oh, the, the, um, um, the, I forget what it's called. Um, it's quarterly. Uh, the uh, yeah, joint loss committee. Joint loss committee. It's I served department. on that one as well. Hmm. Um, as all the departments heads in the building, um, okay. discussing procedures and making sure things are followed and that kind of stuff. So things would need to be um, repositioned. Clearly, yeah. I mean, yeah. it, um, depending on whoever gets the position. We would need to decide whether or not we still wanted to stay on what we wanted to stay on, yep. or um, or to, to redivide the, the responsibilities. Um, there are we're coming into or in budget season. I shouldn't say we're coming into. We are in budget season, so this is after Labor Day and going before things really pick up. Um, there's never really a, a downtime. I don't want to. I don't want to give anyone a, a sense of a false sense of security, but. Um, there are slower times a year. The summer isn't as busy, but um, uh, the fall and winter, the beginning of the winter, are very busy. So, um, we're getting the budget together. Um, and with the change to SB2, there will be some front-loading um, uh, of the responsibilities that we spread out a little bit more. Right. So, I mean, there is that, just so to keep in mind. Right. So, mm -hmm. Yes, there are earlier deadlines. Right. 
you. But as um, I previously said, the, the budget, it isn't like we have to start all fresh every year. Yeah, you know, you're going to do some um, finagling of numbers just because of what happened this year. You can adjust them up or down. And all department heads present their budgets to us, yep. and we, we review them and make sure that, um, you know, it's something that we feel we can bring forward. Um, and then we also um, present at the, at the budget meetings with the department heads as well. Um, I do. Uh, the, the, the yes, this year does that. Um, so, but we do have occasionally a Saturday morning too. Are you available mm -hmm. on Saturday mornings? Okay. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, I was going to say, so the budget, we do workshops um, starting this Monday. They're going to start at 5.30 and go to 6.30. Um, we're going to do that for several Mondays. Uh, we will have a few Saturdays where we, we need to work on uh, the budget. The, the Saturday ones, I think, will come more into play once we have uh, every, all the information from the department heads. Mm -hmm. and, and they know that there's a deadline that they have to meet. Um, End the end of this month, they have to, yeah, actually, yeah. about the 24th, they have to have everything, yeah. I think it was 24th, the 23rd, whatever, yeah. whatever that Friday is, I told them that they had to have everything, in, and they were all set to meet them, yeah. so, okay. um, but yeah, we, <laughs> whoever gets the position will be jumping in feet first, right away, so. Did um, you serve on the budget committee no. before? No. Um, so, I mean, it, it, we both have, and I've had many years of experience mm -hmm. in the budget committee, so we'll work here at so, so switching gears just a little bit, what, what do you see as um, would be a priority of yours um, if, if you were to, to be appointed to the board? I mean, it's a, it's a short window, yeah. but um, what do you see as priorities around town that, that, that you would that need to be uh, attended to? Um, I actually feel like the direction is pretty good. Um, the the 10-year strategic plan, I think, is a great tool. Um, the things that hadn't been addressed for many years have been addressed. Um, I think making it easier to do business with the town, um, so registering your dog online. I know you can do it through the mail, but just like that sort of stuff would make it easier for residents. Um, I do think um, we need to <clears throat> look at our zoning and come up with um, some somewhere in town where we can zone commercially and um, you know, something we've started to discuss in planning board. Um, I think we need to dig in on that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like the, the direction the town has been heading in is better. It's more sustainable. Um, it's, it's, you know, not reactionary. Well, we're still reactionary, Miles. Well, I don't want you to think that we, we um, but I appreciate you. Understand. Yeah, we, um, we have been trying to do a little more strategic plan in the last several years. We've been trying not to react, but there's still things that yeah. creep up every once all the time. Sure. I wouldn't say much more all the time. So. Mm. That, that keep popping up. I don't want, an, I don't, yeah, <laughs> I don't want anyone to, to think they're not jumping into something that it's, um, it will be work. I mean, it's what what just um, I was the, the issue of downstairs whether or not the police station will move, um, and if they do, what will that look like? Mm -hmm. um, where what will they go? What do we do with this building? Mm -hmm. um, That's some so. big decisions that we have to make. Right now, that, yeah. Yeah. And there are a lot of large issues still looming out there, but um, mm -hmm. you know, other junk, juggling of the road and the servicing. Sometimes it feels like repositioning the deck chair for the Titanic around here. So, um, but yeah, I mean, hopefully, not the outcome of the Titanic. Yeah, you, know. <laughs> you can get ahead of that, right? So yeah, we'll try. Um, we we'll try. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, yeah there, I mean, there are definitely some major projects that we have coming up that mm -hmm. we have to we address. I mean, a lot of years of postponing projects have created a huge. Uh, project and a lot of money right. by doing it. But we have to continue to, and we need to have a vision, I believe, that it's like, what are we going to do? We, we haven't done preventive maintenance on 
boilers and yeah. air ACs and we have to come up with some plans to stop getting the five thousand dollar bills and have you know a couple hundred dollars a year right. to uh, preventive maintenance to stop these big items that are happening. Right. So that's one of the you know that's one of the things that I think I would like to see starting to happen immediately with the next budget season coming up mm -hmm. and start working on those things just to make it less painful. Right. <laughs> and everything breaks at the same time, which we've had a lot this year. You know. It's it's the way that I run my household, right? Like I get my furnace clean and the yeah. roof looked at, and I don't wait until it breaks. Exactly. Um, it might cost a little more money up front. It's going to pay dividends down the line, and obviously it's a balance for keeping the tax rate um, palatable. Yeah. Um, I don't want my taxes going up any more than yeah. anyone else does, but exactly. um, it's you know to keep this town an attractive place to live, and it is an attractive place mm -hmm. to live. I they work with people that would love to live in Alaska. Mm -hmm. They there's either no house for sale or they can't afford it. I'm interested for <laughs> 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 Around. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's a lovely place to live for sure. I agree with you 100. percent So like you know, we want to keep it that way. We want to just make sure that everything is what it should be, and right. and try to be a little more preventive. I'm, I'm just curious. So as a student, do you have any questions for us? Yes. I do. Um, so do you look at how other towns? Operate to get you know ones that are not treading water. I, I don't know what towns it was meant to. Um, not that you have time to. We um, <coughs> we try to um, incorporate best practices right. from other communities when possible. Okay. Um, we um, I'm just gonna speak to my experience. When I came on board, there were certain areas where we were deficient in, in, in any kind of written policies. Mm -hmm. um, we don't, we didn't have, and Suzanne was working on this and it hasn't been cleared yet, but we didn't have a uh, set of written financial policies uh, for the community. Um, uh, purchasing and, and everything is done by, for the most part, by the purchase order. Um, and at one time, was anything over $25 or $50 that had to be done via purchase order. Well, we don't live in the 19th century right. anymore. We, we perhaps could utilize other methods. And so we, we started to institute those. Um, we had no written welfare policy, any guidelines. So um, what used to happen, the select board, there was three members, obviously. It fell to the junior member of the board, typically. To, um, to handle all the welfare cases. If that person wasn't available, uh, then the next available member would, would, would do it. So there was no rhyme or reason as to how welfare was um, given out. What do you mean handle? So what someone calls you calls your cell phone and says, or calls the office, sometimes they call your cell phone or home phone, um, and the office, they, they say, okay, well, uh, my heat's been turned off, or, or my lights are being turned off, or I can't afford this month's rent, or whatever. Um, I'm tired, or a whole host of things. Mm -hmm. so I can't get to work. Um, so the, the towns and cities in the state of New Hampshire are the, um, are the means of last resort for short folks. And part of your title, actually, as a select board member, is overseer of the court. Um, so it falls on, on all the local municipalities to take care of what the town they need. So, if they said, you know, I can't make my rent this month, they're going to throw me out, I or any other member of the board would have to go and meet with these people. Now, now we have, because we have someone managing it for us, who's actually gone and met with other welfare directors, mm -hmm. um, we have uh, a set of standards that we follow. Um, and that didn't always happen. It happened for a very brief amount of time, and then that person left. And then we're back to the old system of no rhyme or reason. We'll just give out whatever we give out. And it costs a lot more money that way. Mm -hmm. Now we have a system where there's actually checks and balances, and people have to meet certain criteria. They have to, um, and they have to, they have to um, 
prove that they're you know looking for work hazards. Right? All those, there's a whole host of things that can be required of people before public assistance is given out. Well, that didn't always happen. Mm -hmm. It didn't happen because there were no written guidance. We didn't have minimum housing standards that were adopted in this town. So you'd have landlords that did pretty much anything they wanted to. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe me, go over to South Street. You can look around. The other end of South Street. The middle part of South Street. Um, or 3rd or 4th Street. Mm -hmm. um, or at one time, 2nd Street, which was the epicenter of what we're this town. Slowly over, over time, this is a select for this one and previous select boards in the last several years have decided that it's not a very uh, logical way to run a community. You have to have guidelines. So, but that takes time. So, um, so there, we, we do, in fact, this is a very long way of saying this, yes, we do, in fact, try to find best practice from other towns. Recently, while well, you were at the chair of the planning board involved in a case where someone wanted to vote on a class six road. Now, that was all, you, you inherited that, but that was probably not, hand, at the beginning, wasn't probably handled in the best way. We had no guidelines right. as a, from the select board's perspective um, as to whether or not we would even issue a building permit. Class six road. It was just always done willy nilly. Sometimes it was done via town meeting. Sometimes it was done uh, because the select board let it happen mm. in certain cases. Um, well, that's not fair to the applicant. It should be a standard practice. Um, and so we've been struggling to do that. Um, uh, little things like that. But we got those guidelines from the town of New Durham because okay. they had been sued. Their select board had been sued because they too didn't have a standard policy. So it was vetted and, and by their legal counsel, and I was actually ours there as well. But um, we didn't have to create it from, from, from nothing. So okay. we, we do do that. And all the communities try to do that. We, we have the, the, the resource of the municipal association that um, can gather that information for us and, and try to help us in that case, too. So you're not flying blind, but um, <clears throat> it's, there's, there's, still, there's still things in town that haven't been settled. And they won't, they were long unsettled by the time I'm gone, by the time Denise is gone, and whoever else fills the vacant position, who comes after them, and comes after them. There's only so many hours a day yeah. um, to, to help resolve these things. And the, the, the level of administrative support is, uh, has gotten much better than uh, it had been in the past, but it's still not, it's, it's not sufficient. So uh, I'm, I'm curious how you both feel about the, the recent ad hoc report. But I'm going to reserve judgment. I haven't. I, I, I want to. I'm going to wait. We're going to. <clears throat> pardon me. Going to have a public hearing. I guess oh, okay. Hanson has been under the weather, so she had been in the, to ask us to, to schedule it. But I. Um, I mean, just, my knee jerk reaction is I'd rather see a, a town administrator than a town manager. But um, yeah. we give up a lot. Power. We see a lot of power with town manager. Right. So we we would be fundamentally changing uh, the way that the, the government. So I, and I don't know if I necessarily want to agree with that. So, but I do agree with that. There needs to be more support for whoever is sitting on the other side of the select board table because you know, it, it, I guess it's always easy to say, well, prior boards didn't do anything, and, but they did do things. I mean, they did things in the best that they could. In some, I mean, in some cases they just turned blind eyes. I mean, you realize that. Yeah. Um, you can look at pictures of this building from the 1970s when. Why well, is a board falling off now? So I should be careful. <laughs> There's bo one board that's falling off, but the paint is peeling off. I mean, right. it's just this building was neglected. So you go upstairs and you look to over where they put that vinyl siding over, and you can see outside in some cases because the, the pieces of the walls are missing. They never insulated the building. I mean, the, the little things like that are irritating, but they, if people cut corners when corners probably shouldn't have been cut. So those things are irritating. But there are also uh, time constraints on, on the passports have, and there were budgetary constraints that passports have as well. So, and I can appreciate that. But um, I think Denise is right when she talks about deferred maintenance. Uh, there are people that are very gleeful about that in this town still, and they applaud people when they get up at town meeting and they say, you know, I kept taxes low. We well, kept taxes low because deferred maintenance for four years. So, yep. um, and that doesn't help us now because now we're, it's coming time to pay that. So, you wouldn't do that on your home. You, you shouldn't. Well, you, you, you could do it on. Some people do it on their home. And that's why they have older rooms. But, yeah. 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 Yeah.
So we're trying so, to do as many Don't get me on my soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're trying to do as many guidelines as possible and making sure. And if something isn't, then we're going to have to work on those to make sure that we have documentation for the next boards and us to follow going forward. And it's, it's going to be work. That's for sure, but I think, but we do have really good administration here, and that has helped us a lot. Um, so I we have a really good person in the position. We don't right. have right. sufficient enough. Well, I don't think we have sufficient to. either. Oh, okay. Because previously there were people who could do work during the day, and now we have people who work and. You know, so I mean, it isn't. Yeah, it's sort of an unrealistic expectation. It's not even that that they had time during the day. There are certain things now that are required of select boards that weren't required in the past. Uh, the, the reporting alone to the State Department of Revenue and Administration to set the tax rate is a hundred percent different than it used to be. The, the, the online portal that you have to use, the information that you have to put in, the way you have to put it in, is different than it was in the past. So it, and it requires. A certain level of sophistication. I'm not claiming that I have it. I'm just saying it, oh, it requires a certain level of sophistication that you need to be able to do that. Um, I'm not so sure that every select board in the state of New Hampshire that doesn't have that level of a professional administrative support can actually handle it. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to someone in Congress about that yesterday, how they need to fix their tax board. Um, um, it's little things like that. So yeah. we. Uh, Whoever is sitting at, the, at this table is going to need more help in the future. It's just, it's just uh, the, the age we live. We yeah. do not live in the, the simpler, more genteel time that everyone wants to pretend that we do. We just don't. We, we live in a time when there are certainly reporting requirements that need to be met. The deadlines need to be met. If they're not, in this town will be fine. And, and if, if, the, if there is not that level of expertise, of uh, um, to help perform some of those duties, well, this town and other little towns, much like us, will be responsible for paying hefty fines mm -hmm. for the EPA and other organizations. So. so you mentioned earlier about the town of New Durham, the select board was sued. Yeah. The, 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 the members aren't personally loyal, right? No, 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 no. Sorry. So yes, they, 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 someone wanted to build a house on a class six road and the select board said no. Well, by state law, we, they can't. They have that right. They don't yeah. have to give any reason. But they, those are baggy back and forth. That's why they developed those, those guidelines. Yeah. But no, you, you personally are not. The, the, the community. It, well, when I was on the, you have the like a way. When I was on the homemakers board, they had directors and offices of insurance. Right. And it, yeah. only, it only covered like a million dollars. We, we actually ended up doubling it because it just didn't feel like enough mm -hmm. right. protection. Yeah. No, you, know, you would be... You're protected by statute, so and, and, and then you would have representation of the town. I mean, if we did something individually, <laughs> we never right. yeah. select boards act as boards. Regardless of who sits at this table, I can't just go up and say, "Go do that to to the road agent." You can't just say, "You know, we're gonna uh, pave this road next week." We're gonna do, or oh yeah, you don't have to pay your dog fees this year. You know, whatever. I don't have that. I don't have that one. Uh, only a board acting together can make any decision in town. It's not. I mean, there are, of course, exceptions and emergencies, that sort of thing. But um, we don't act independently. We, we hang together. So. <laughs> and for a good reason, because you don't want people just going through and making decisions on their own. It has to be a board decision. So, in that sense, you're, you're, covered by, you're covered by state statute.